Hi, today on Desserts with Sam, we are going to make pineapple upside down cupcakes. Hope you enjoy. For this dessert, these are the ingredients you will need. Pineapples, cherries, vegetable oil, water, the pineapple supreme mix, and three eggs. First, you're going to put in the pineapple mix inside of your bowl. You can also make it from scratch, but it's easier if you just buy it already made. Okay. Then you will get your three eggs, crack them. For some reason, three came out instead of two. So if that happens to you, that's okay, but if not, Crack three eggs. Okay, after that, you will need one cup of water. Okay. Then one third of oil. Okay. Put it in here. After you're done doing all of that, you start mixing it for about two to three minutes so this is a fun part when we start putting everything in our cupcake trays so you can use a butter spray or a normal cooking spray just so they won't stick on the bottom put it in each little cup okay this is optional but if you want you can use brown sugar so you can put it on the very bottom and your bottom of the cupcake will be crispier but it's totally optional and you don't have to. This is an example of how it should look like. You should be able to cover just the bottom, not too many. Okay, just grab some with your fingers. You can use your spoon also if you want. You don't want to put too much in there. Not that much is good right here. Okay, back to the next one. This is how it should end up. Our crust for our cupcake is ready. This is when your pineapples and cherries come into play. You will have to slice them in half because if you try to put them, put them full, they won't fit. So you will put it inside like this. Okay, and do that to each one. Make sure you put it all the way down. So then you get your cherries, make sure you cut the stems off if they have any, and you just put them in the middle of each pineapple. Like this. At this point, you can go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Now it's time to put our batter in each cupcake. You can use the ice cream scoop, which is easier for me if you would like. And then you start and go ahead and put them in. You don't want to use too much and you don't want to fill it up all the way because in the oven, they will rise and fluff up. And you don't want anything to come out. clean all of the sides just so your tray won't get dirty and damaged and this is how roughly they will come out so now that they're ready you're gonna go ahead and put them in your oven for approximately 25 minutes or so and when they're all done we'll come back so it's not quite done yet it needs about five more minutes so we're gonna leave it in and just in case you had extra batter you can get a four by eight inch pan and put the rest of your batter and just make a baby cake of it. It's been about five more minutes already and our cupcakes are ready. Just take them out. 
and put them on top of another pan and just let them sit and cool for about five minutes only. This is how they should look after coming out of the oven. Before you flip it, you want to dig a knife and just go around the sides just so it will be easier to, for them to come out. Just like this. Now you can flip them. So you put the pan on top, grab it from both sides, and just flip it. Then you will pat each one of them just to make sure that they all come out. Get out. And there you have it. These are how your cupcakes should turn out. So that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this recipe and see you next week for another of Sam's desserts.